Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about your Webflow account and more specifically, I'm going to quickly answer a question. I keep getting a lot on my other video and that is how do you cancel your paid subscription in Webflow? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, real quick video, not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video, but why would you want to cancel your paid subscription in Webflow anyways? Well, that's pretty easy. If you're running an online business, you know that sometimes the monthly fees can start to add up, especially for software that you're not really using. Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process. It's handled here in your Webflow account. Check my video description. I'll try to leave the written instructions there as well. But I've already logged into my Webflow account, and this is the dashboard that's going to show all the different websites you have with Webflow. Now, before I go any further, I want to let you know there's actually two different paid subscriptions that you might want to be canceling. One is going to be a workspace subscription. The other might be a subscription to a website, an upgraded website. So we'll go over both of those. Okay, so here in the dashboard, if you want to cancel your workspace paid subscription here on the left side, what you're going to do is click on plans. Okay. Once you do that, you're going to see which plan you are on. As you can see, I'm here on the core plan at $28 per month. So in order to cancel this, you want to go ahead and look to the left. They have a starter plan at zero. So we're not going to actually be canceling. We're going to be downgrading to the free plan. So I'm going to click downgrade to starter. Okay. Once you do that, you're going to get this warning from Webflow. If you're going to be downgrading your paid subscription on Webflow, they don't really give refunds. So basically what's going to happen is I'll still have access until November 7th. So 30 days from now. So that's how much I've paid up for. And next they ask why you want to cancel. So I'm going to go ahead and just click this. All right. And then in order to cancel your paid workspace subscription, you'll go ahead and type in downgrade. All right. And then click on downgrade workspace plan. Okay. Next, the page refreshes and it went by pretty quick, but basically it gave me a confirmation saying that the workspace paid subscription has been canceled. Now we need to go back to our dashboard here on the top. So click on all sites. Okay. So now if you want to cancel the paid subscription to a particular website that you're building, you're going to go ahead and look for the website. So this one right here, and then you're going to click on the gear icon that appears on the top right when you hover over the website. Okay. Once you do that, you're going to see the settings. And in order to cancel the paid subscription, you want to click on this button here called plan. Okay. So once you do that, it's going to show the different plans that are available. You can see I am on what's called the CMS plan at $29 per month. And if you want to go ahead and cancel the paid subscription, you're going to go ahead and choose the free plan downgrade to start it right here on the left and blue. Okay. Once you do that, once again, Webflow doesn't issue any kind of refunds. They do let you know that credit will not be issued for any unused time remaining on the previous site plan. So here you want to go ahead and choose why you are canceling your paid subscription. So I'm going to click on other. And then once you fill this out, you want to go ahead and just type in downgrade and then you'll click here, downgrade site plan. Okay. They do let you know this is going to take effect immediately and it's also going to unpublish your site. So just be aware of that. I'm not going to do that because I'm still actually using this Webflow website. So there you have it, guys. If you're wondering how to cancel a paid subscription plan in your Webflow website builder, that's the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.